So this is very mysterious. Imagine scientists worldwide are registering a seismic event, but they don't know where it's coming from. So in all directions of the world, seismologists registered something, seismic activities. They detected an unusual signal. And this signal was distinct from the typical earthquake rumble. It resonated as a continuous hum, maintaining a singular frequency. So some of them were thinking, is something going on? Are the aliens here? But it wasn't the aliens, guys. It was something else that you would not think it was. And this was long lasting for nine consecutive days. This hum echoed across the globe and it was spanning from the Arctic to Antarctica. And it was leaving researchers absolutely baffled. So it was really initially classified as an USO, not UFO, USO. That means an unidentified seismic object. Have you ever heard of that? I haven't heard a seismic object. So it means they were thinking something's causing the earth to tremble for nine days. So this is scary, right? If you don't know what's causing it, is the earth about to explode? What's happening? So it took them quite a while until they finally identified the source of this seismic signal. So what was actually responsible for that mysterious hum was a colossal landslide in Greenland in the Dixon Fjord. So what has happened? A landslide causing the whole earth? to tremble? Well, yes, there was this landslide, but that was not the reason. So the event involved a massive, massive amount of rock and ice sliding down. So actually, if you look at how much it was, it was enough to fill approximately 10,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools, 10,000. And that was all at once plummeting into the Dixon Fjord. And if you follow my channel, and if you've seen my other videos, we know what that is causing. Because it's like if some bigger person jumps into a pool, you know what that causes, right? So this caused a mega tsunami. And when I say mega, I really, really mean it. It caused waves that were towering up to 200 meters. That's 650 feet. That is double the height, for example, of London's iconic Big Ben. So massive, absolutely massive. So how did this happen? It was due to the thinning of a nearby glacier. The fjord's stability had been compromised and the glacier had lost several tens of meters in thickness over the decades. And that has led up to this weakened structure. And then when the mountain finally gave way, um, the sheer force of this collapse has generated seismic waves that reverberated around the planet, around the planet. So what the scientists are saying, this is imminent danger. And I'll explain to you in a second why. And Rudy, you should not be sleeping. This is really important knowledge. This is not boring. But I guess he thinks he already knows it all or he just doesn't care. Because the scientists are saying, this mega tsunami is not a single event and mega tsunamis in the future will happen again tsunamis like this and they will lead to humanitarian disaster and has this one led to humanitarian disaster the problem is nobody even noticed and that's the crazy thing took them over nine days to find out. So when did this happen, guys? I'm not talking about a long time ago. A year ago, in September in 2023, 
No human had witnessed it and no one was able to observe it, but a titanic landslide has caused a collapse of this mountain in Greenland. So that was a 1.2 kilometer long, big Greenlandic glacier that has collapsed into the Dixon Fjord. And then this shock has raised the waters to this height level of 200 meters, 650 feet. Because of that, the mega tsunami has formed and then was going on with a wave 110 meters high um, and was going on. And then in the minutes that followed, it then went down to seven meters. So the world was very, very lucky that at that moment when this happened in this fjord, that there was no cruise ship in there at the moment of this incident, because that would have been an absolute disaster in a narrower fjord with these massive, massive water movements. So a human disaster was narrowly avoided because usually cruise ships are there. So, but still it has caused devastation there because there were a lot of cultural and archaeological sites that have been completely devastated by this incident so why was this felt all over the world this mega tsunami really has caused the earth's crust vibrate for nine days that's how massive it was it's really hard to imagine that this would make the whole earth shake for nine days. That's absolutely crazy. So in 15 countries, 68 scientists from different, from 40 different institutions actually, had to be pooled together and had to share their expertise to understand this phenomenon. So this was really something nobody understood at first. That's why they called it, not UFO, but unidentified seismic object. So then they did a press release and they said they combined seismometer and infrasound data that they received, as well as field measurements, terrestrial imagery and satellite imagery and tsunami wave simulations in order to find out how this was able to happen. So the tsunami was reported to have caused damage of up to 70 kilometers from the epicenter of that landslide. So the scientists are sure and they say that this phenomenon is likely to reoccur more and more often. So that's why scientists are calling for vigilance. So they say that some regions that present as stable at the moment must now be closely monitored. They have to be on the watch for something like this to happen. So amazing guys, right? If you're following my channel, um, there's several causes for a landslide. There's underwater volcanoes in Italy that could have landslide underwater and cause tsunamis. So you wouldn't notice that landslide in the beginning, but the tsunamis could hit the coast. So the tsunami threat worldwide is more present than many people think. If you're interested in that, I just released a video that shows where with 100% probability, according to scientists, we will also see a tsunami where you'd not expect it probably. So check out this video in the end screen. Thanks for watching guys. And Rudi, you have to wake up now. I need to find another topic. Maybe the 10 best dog foods or something. Rudi dog foods. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.